som wannabe. Han var den første taber, skal du huske. Aldrig, aldrig, aldrig været dårligere end en anden plads til en professionel på en turnal. Så en stor en derhen også, er den nede ja. på den anden den, ikke? Det er jo også meget hurtigt, at de små, den anden, den jeg så, den var altså så stor her i kroppen. Nå. Der er jo mange af dem, man ser, så er de, så er de en stump på hale der, ikke? Ja. Det er jo beskyttelse mod fugle og sådan ja. noget, så når de kommer så ned, så slipper de simpelthen hale. Ja. Det ved man, når man har prøvet at fange dem. <laughs> så du har et par haler derhjemme? <laughs> og så ligger halerne, så vi vil bevæge sig bag ja. også, faktisk. What's the plan of today? We are going to shoot the bows in and then take a little look, look around the area and see what to do in the, this afternoon with the hunting. So after breakfast, I think we will go on. Start tuning the bows? Yeah. yeah. Or not tuning, just, just checking them. Check. Mix. Make, Make sure, sure nothing tuned. happened and yeah. there's no baboons looking in the suitcase in the airport. And yeah. So then this afternoon we're gonna kill the baboons. We have something to barbecue. <laughs> oh, right, Steph. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you take the bottom part and the top part and you divide it in three, mm -hmm. there and there, mm -hmm. so there's three parts. Mm -hmm. So you go on the leg, yeah. one third up, on that third up, on the leg, mm -hmm. just there. Yeah. Then it's perfect. If you're a little high, cut the arteries, yeah. the veins, and then this whole part until there. Yeah, that's sort of it's, target. It's, it's target. But don't go there if you don't have to. Just no. go on the shoulder, like that, like that one. If it's like this, mm -hmm. that's the best shot. Go in between the legs. Yeah, just behind the blade. Yes, <gasps> just go in between the legs up, and then. Um, if you can't remember one third or whatever, halfway, just under halfway, super. 
Okay. Put that one halfway, just on the halfway there. Hmm. Then you're good. Hmm. It's a little this further. Is the perfect one. Uh, then we do yeah, the road here. Exactly. Road here, I go up here and yeah, just yeah, behind because the leg. The thing is, the the hearts are in between the legs. Hmm. Yeah. So all of them, it's it's in between the legs, almost touching the bottom part. So the heart of it's it's very low. So just on the leg, one third up or halfway, a little down. Good enough. Yeah. It will work. Yeah. <laughs> on a walking stalk, because normally on walking stalk you get like 40 to 50. On a walking stalk, I won't shoot him until I'm 40. So actually closer than 20. But all the other animals, um, the big animals, it's fine. You can just go to yeah. 60 as well. Uh, if you if you on it, it will be good. Yeah. 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 Now you're making me happy. Now I'm feeling better. <laughs> yeah. I think we must, if we if we get animals, we must just scoop them to 40 meters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. So we still get scooped here, bring it in. So go after. So can we go here? Then a flock down there, so there will be a bear in the pool. Clip springer. We saw two clip springer down there, female and a male, and we went all the way around. But the female saw us, so I could have shot the female, but I, I had to shoot the, the male, so I couldn't. But the female was at 30 meters, so I could have taken the shot, and she was placed perfectly. But they sensed us. Quilts.
27 to that stone up against the tree. Yeah, but you're not gonna shoot them. You're gonna shoot to those feeding place here. Do I wait for them to come in? They will. If they don't come in and they're just standing there around, standing, then we can, we can shoot it, especially if it's another beast or something. But in Polo, I won't let you shoot them from that far. The first I will go is to the water. Like 13 or 15 meters. Okay, okay. so I know it's hot, but that's how it is if you leave it open. It means some scent is going out there. So. <laughs> Today was a really, really good hunt. It was really cool because we tried to hunt when it was so hot. All of us was just sweating, sweating. Mostly Jonas, <laughs> he was really <laughs> sweating. That's why all the impalas run I'm away. That's such a good shape. Yeah. yeah, and all the guys, they could drink a lot because they could just pee in a bottle. But <laughs> I had a problem, I couldn't drink anything. Didn't pee in a bottle? No, I did not. I heard there was but a bucket there. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't use it. But the problem today was, first of all, the heat. We sat there for four hours, right? In the mm -hmm. heat, and you were just sweating, sweating. It was so hot. Yeah. So you had to struggle with the heat to concentrate. And then there was wind. Because a lot of animals actually came in, but they ran away all the time because they could smell us. Somehow they could smell us. Yeah, and it's crazy because I thought it was really, I mean, this blind hunting down here was like sort of too easy, but it turned out to be really hard actually because I mean, every time those animals came in, there were some water bugs and some impalas, and especially the impalas, as soon as they sort of came into the and slightly just touched the wind, they yeah. went away yeah. like that. And they were really fast, Yeah, really fast. I thought to myself, that's going to be a difficult shot, <laughs> really difficult. You can't shoot too far with no, those. No, no. Definitely not. 